Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and today I'm bringing you PC Simulator. Now this is a game that I have been keeping an eye on for quite a while on the on the Steam Store. Um, I'm a little bit late to the party on playing this, but it is now on sale with the uh, the add-on of the um, the Overclocked Edition, which I have installed on here as well. Uh, so I thought we'd have a little bit of a let's play and let's see how we get along. Now, first things first, we have to. Oh, we have, well, we have one job there waiting, but let's have a look at the PC. I'll go onto our emails and let's, uh, let's find out. Thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. A few things: the company isn't doing very well, and there is no money in the bank account. Okay, sounds like my bank account. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job. I had a job on the go, which should help you with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use the thermal paste when putting in your CPU. I always forget the PCs overheat. So, I think you're all set up. It's your company now, so run it how you see fit. And I hope you do better than I did. Lots of love, Uncle Tim. I had to borrow $15 for fuel. You know how it is. It sounds like my own parents. <coughs> but there we go. So, look, let's have a look at this email then. I hope you can help me. My computer's been running slower than usual. I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Thanks, Gary. Well, Gary, yes. You probably were looking at something that you, you shouldn't have been. Have a look. But we'll take that. We'll have to remove the viruses from that PC, which is here in the hallway. Um, so look, let's, let's pick it up and take it over to our little workbench over here. There we go. So uh, PC boot OS remove viruses. Okay, so this is quite a quite a simple one. We'll, uh, we'll add in all our cables. Okay, plug in the PC. Yep. So we've got to plug all these in. Now it does get a bit faster later on down the track once we get level up a little bit. There we go, plug them all in. Now it's quite interesting this game because it was only this year, or actually last year, that I decided to build my own PC. Now I've never done anything like this before. I thought it'd be extremely difficult. I've always been I've always been a, an Xbox kind of person, uh, but I, I finally decided that I wanted to uh, see what it was all about. Um, so that's exactly what I did. Now I have no idea about computers. I am no expert by any means, uh, but I, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to put it together. And to be honest with you, it's actually a lot easier than I expected. Uh, I must have had the whole thing up and running in probably about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, now my system, it's not not an amazing, amazing system, but you know, it's fairly decent. It does the job. Anyway, so we have to install the programs for this for, for Gary. Let's get rid of his uh, his viruses. There we go, the virus scanner. Only if it was ever really that quick. Oh, slowing down a little bit now. Do you want to restart? Yes. So we let his PC restart for the minute. Let's go over to the computer. Do we have any new emails? No, nothing new at the moment. That's fine. Okay. So uh, what we do? We'll click on the virus scanner, get it going. There you go. He's all done. We'll power it down. And uh, unplug all these wires. Oh. There we go. So. That's Gary's PC done. What we do, we put it down by the door again, ready to go out. Let's go collect our reward. And done. Okay. You completed your first job, well done. Come back tomorrow and see if there's any more jobs. Okay, so look, we'll have to finish our day there. We have $85 in the bank. Hope the rent isn't too expensive. Uh, so look, let's end our day. Yeah, we're going home. I should really turn off all those things. Uh, let's end our day and let's go to work. Let's see if there's anything new for us today. There we go, quite a few emails. My electric bill will go through the roof as I left the computer on. There we go, virus scan. Just wanted to say thank you for fixing my PC. Don't worry, Gary. Uh, broken graphics card, we'll accept that one. Yeah. We can still buy our components, that's fine. Um, yep, yeah, he wants five. 500 gig. Can you have a look at my PC? It's a bit dirty. I'll bring it over tonight. 
Okay, well, we can do all of them. So what do we need here? We need GTX 970 and we need a 500 gig. So let's go to the store and uh, graphics cards. Uh, what am I doing? Graphic cards. Type in here. 970, this is the one he wants, not the XL. 4 gigabyte. Yep, that'll do. We'll add that to, to the cart. I hope I can pay with debt because I've only got $85. Mm, okay, well, we'll find out in a second about that. Let's get rid of our search. Storage. Needs 500 gig. Easy store. So this is the one. We'll add that to the cart. Let's have a look. Yep. So we can play for next day delivery, $30 extra. Uh, oh, okay, it does let you do it. Now I'm minus 260. And we're now overdrawn. We know that life doesn't always run smoothly, so we provide a free overdraft for all our customers. Okay, we have $1,000, which is good. Uh, I don't think there's much more I can do today because the other PC hasn't arrived yet. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, this is our inventory. Okay, that's cool. Right, so I think what we'll do we'll end our day. So, look, Wednesday, everything's coming in. So, look, we'll have plenty to do. Let's go to work. Give my part to here. Huge boxes for the, for the very little that we have. But, anyways, I'll do. Uh, we'll take that. So, who's first? What have we got? Clean dust, movie viruses. Okay, we'll do this guy's first because his is the simplest. Spray it up there. Okay, we all know how to clean a PC. Something that I probably should do more often to my own PC. Um, but anyways, might inspire me to do it a little bit. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to get the compressed air. And this might take a while. This is one dirty PC. Wow. Anything even happening? There we go, we're getting somewhere now. It's all over the place. Look at it. Wow. Okay. That looks a lot better. Very, very basic system in here. Pretty much like mine. <laughs> okay, so remove the viruses. So let's plug her all in. Get all the cables in. There we go, that one in there, that one in there. I think later on in the game we get the, the quick, the quick that has like all of them plugged into one. A lot simpler. Uh, and don't forget the USB, which we do all the time. Uh, yeah, because we need to remove the viruses like the last one. Let's power her up. Look at that, just kicking in. Very, very basic. Okay, so look, let's uh, get the virus scanner up. Installing. Okay, let the system restart. In the meantime, we can uh, we can put back on the the cover. Screw it back together. The screws at the back, nice and simple. Oh. What am I doing? I'm now pulling it apart, and I. Okay, they've all gone back in. That's good. All right, let's uh, start scanning. Let's clean her up. 525 files. This is worse than Gary's computer. Let's clean them all up. Computer is now protected. We can power it down and disconnect everything again. There we go. That's uh, this one done. So the first job of the day is a good one. Put it down there. Alright, who's next? Uh, we'll do this one, the memory one. I think that's to be the easiest. Oh. Okay, let's have a look. Let's move. Uh, actually, we need the other side. So we move this side. What we're going to do is remove the hard drive. 
uh, which is this. Right, that one back. Remove the data cables there, and we'll get her out. Now let's install what we have. Uh, some storage. So this 120 gig. You know what? We're going to keep it for now. We might be able to use it for another one. It's only seven dollars. Um, but what we'll do, we'll put in this one. There we go. We'll close the disk drive. What we need to do, we need to get some cables. Just get some black ones. Nothing too fancy. Connect that up in there. Okay, should be good to go. Put the case back together. Alright, boot OS. I don't know that we need to. Um, Hopefully it already has OS. I don't know if we need the USB. I, I don't. Um, you know what? Maybe what we'll do, we'll just put the USB in anyways because uh, I don't have to come back and do it when it tells me that I've not done it. There we go. So there we go. Put it all in. Let's power up. There we go. You see all the fans kicking in there now. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Love the graphics. Okay, so OS is booting up. Okay, so I had to do that, which is good. And delivery area. Okay, we're done. So power it down. Let's get disconnect all our cables. There we go. All removed. Oh, wrong button. And let's uh, another job done for today. Hopefully, get some money rolling. Okay, last one. Uh, change the graphics card, I believe. Can't remember off the top of my head. Install GTX. Replace graphics card. Isn't that the same thing? Uh, well, we'll find out in a second. Okay, so what we need to do, this is the actual graphics card here. Uh, so what we need to do, we need to remove this little thing. Keeps it all in place for your PCIs and stuff like that. There we go. Now she should just flop out. Get another one. Uh, graphics card. Okay, so this one's broken, so this is no good now, so we'll sell that one. We'll throw this one in. There we go. We'll shut the PCI ports. Now, it says uh, Kambuta OS, so I assume that we have to put the operating systems on. Oh, God, these cable things are annoying. Alright, let's throw them in. There we go. One more. And let's not forget our software, USB drive, let's throw her in, let's power her up, there you go, she's all kicking in, look at that, it's pretty cool that. And in the meantime, we'll put this back together, and okay, we're all done for another day, we can check our emails then. Power her down, and let's remove, let's remove everything. There we go. Another PC done. Another satisfied customer for the day. There we go. All done. Let's check our emails. Broken's graphic card. We can now collect. There we go. Getting some money coming in now. Uh, we can collect from that job too. This guy needs help. Can you look at my PC? Oh no. That's the one we've done. Collect that. Another hundred dollars. An easy one. We're not. We're not overdrawn anymore. Let's uh, discard some of these. New parts are available, and okay, uh, so no new emails today, which is a bit of a shame, uh, so what we'll do, we'll have to finish our day, we'll leave it there, we'll end the day, let's see what today brings, see if there's anything a little bit more interesting. Left the computer on again last night, so the energy bills could be nice and good. Hi, I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly. I've been getting very hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not clogged up. If you do have to replace it, then please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. 
well, you've come to the right place because Chief is my middle name. Okay, I'll accept that. It's in transit. Need your help. I borrowed my mum's brand new PC and I think I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's riddled with viruses. I need it done before she gets back from my friend's house. Hurry. Well, Harry, you shouldn't be looking at naughty stuff on your computer, especially your mother's. But there you go, in transit. Hi, I'm giving my daughter a PC and she needs lots of RAM apparently. She says I need 16 gig and I currently got 2 gig and 4 gig slots on my motherboard. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, so he's only given us 140. We'll see how much RAM is. RAM's quite expensive. And this one is looking for an upgrade. PC is super slow right now. Yawn, I'm hoping for 16 gigabyte of memory if you can stretch to that. I've noticed it sometimes runs a bit slow too. It's urgent. Please hurry. Okay, so we can accept that. Because uh, we are now level 2. Let's leave the PC then. Uh, oh, got to think about all the stuff we need. Let's have a look at the calendar quickly. Uh, 16 gig of RAM was the first one, wasn't it? Do, 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 do. Memory. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, it doesn't say what we need. Um, but you know what? We'll get two of them. I think another one needed 16 as well. So another two of them. And the other guy wanted... Uh, we needed a fan, didn't we? Wasn't it? Things fans, motherboard, CPU cooling. What's the cheapest here? So $10. I'll take that. What else was it we needed? So the cooling fan, viruses, 16 gig of RAM, and 16 gig of RAM. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll... Uh, Go to the cart, four and one, I'll do. We'll just have next day delivery so we can get on with the jobs. Um, find out, happy days. They're all coming in. The fella that wanted me to look at his PC for his mum. No idea what that is, probably coming in in the morning. So what we do, we'll end the day. Okay, loads of big boxes for uh, very little again. Uh, but that's fine, here's what that is. Okay, so plenty of plenty of jobs now. Now, who was the one that needed it first? This guy. Alright, let's get it up here. We know that we don't need to do too much to it, just need to get these cables in. So there we go. Top here. In she goes. Okay, so we have to put in the USB drive as well. As we need to get rid of power up. See the fan kicking in now. Quite a nice PC. Nothing too fancy inside. Okay. Alright, let's add programs. It was virus, wasn't it? It's fine. Can't wait to get the second desk. We do need the second desk. Do you get any other emails today? I need my PC cleaning. Like we'll just accept that. That's a nice easy one. Okay. Now she's got the virus scanner. There we go. Clean the files. It's all nicely done. Not a nice simple job. I wish it was always that easy. Power down. Oh. Ah, if you just pick it up, it pulls them all out. Happy days. Okay, remember that for the next one. So, doing all that. So, here we go. PC down. Who's next? Upgrade, upgrade, fix. Air cooler, clean out dust. Okay, we'll do this one next. We've uh, already done jobs like this, but. Okay, let's remove the side panel. As we need to get to the fan cooler. The CPU, which is on the motherboard, uh, in here. There you go. There's the cooler. The CPU's under there. That's what we do. We'll clean out all this dust first. One dusty computer. I wonder how many gamers really do this to their PCs. I wonder. There we go. All nice and clean. Lovely. Okay, so we're removing and. Hang on. We 
remove air cool. Uh, okay, yeah, put on plug it first, that'd be uh, handy. So, what we'll do, we'll install the new one CPU cooling. This one's broken, we'll sell it for nothing. And we'll install her. Which way around does she need to go? There we go. That'll do. We need to get some cables. This black one to do. Nothing too fancy. Uh, it's kind of stretching across, but ah, you know what? It's not my PC. <laughs> okay, so that's that pretty much done now. All we have to do is boot to the operating system. So what we'll do, we'll just start doing that before we put the case back together. This lovely process of putting in all my cables. Very long process. And let's not forget our USB, just in case. And let's power her up. See the fan kicking in? Yep, it's working. It's not caught fire. So look, I think it'll be okay for another day. Right, we need to put the panel back on. Let's close it all up. Power it down. And she's done. There we go. So glad we have worked out that little trick there. So that's another job done. Okay, these are just two upgrades 16 gig, 16 gig of RAM. I don't think there's anything special about either of these. Had a nice, fairly simple job. So, what we need to do, we need to take the front case off. And this time we need to look at the RAM. Now, the RAM just clicks in and out of the, of the, the motherboard here. Look. There it is, so we're just going to remove. Why don't you let me. Oh, we've got to click on the ends, so we've got to get the little bits of plastic up there. So that's removed, so what we'll do, we're going to put in the new RAM. Uh, memory. Uh, two of these, wasn't it? So we're going to. Yeah, they close automatically, so we have to open this one. Doesn't really matter which slot you put them in. I don't think. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. So there you go. There's your 16 gig of RAM. Needs to boot to OS. So sticking our cables. The best part of any job, this one. There we go. Throwing the cables. It's lucky all these PCs all have the same stuff. Uh, what we'll do, we're going to throw in the software. I don't know if we need it. We shouldn't, but. We'll put her in. In the meantime, we will put this side panel back on. Hopefully, there's no issues. No, it's good to go. That's what we we'll do. We we'll power her down. Same time as me doing this. There we go. Another job done. Nice and simple. Wish it was always this easy. So we'll do. Pick up the last computer. Just put it on the desk. Same job. Anything new come in? We can probably take. Uh, some money. There we go, three hundred dollars. Thank you. Discard that now. That's the PC we're doing. That one's in transit. New parts are available. It's all good. Discard that. Let's click the money for this one. There we go. More new parts available, which is always handy. Okay, so we'll do this one. This will be the last one of the episode. So it's again, same as the other one. Let's remove the panel. A little bit different to the other one. Uh, but nice and easy. So the RAM, look, it's in here. We've got to remove it. So we just open it up the little clips, pull it out, and let's install the new stuff. So this one's used, um, but you know what's 8 gig? Oh, so the only one is 16, so does that mean all I had to do was put in one? Huh. You know what? It's actually better than these cheap ones. What we'll do, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep theirs and uh, we'll put in, we'll put in the, the cheap stuff. Yeah. PC can boot to OS now. I do believe we didn't need the cable. Uh, we didn't need the USB the last time, so I think it's just a case of just turning it on, making sure everything just turns on. So what we do, we'll power her up. 
in the meantime we will yeah so when you do that we don't need to do anything with the OS system it just needs to turn on okay another job done oh. let's put her by the door let's collect some money need to collect from that email Click. Some nice easy money. We'll discard the email and we'll click again. Nice easy money. Let's discard that one. That's in transit. That's done. More new parts available. So there we go. So what we'll do, I think we'll just skip to the next day and we'll see what jobs are available for the next episode. Let's have a little look. Uh, so let's end our day. We had a pretty productive day. Look, 1,462 in the bank. Um, but the, the bills the bills are coming. The rent is 500. Okay, so let's go to work. This fella's PC is here. It's just a virus. Uh, we've seen this already. Nice and easy. Complete by the end of the day. So that's today's job. Let's have a look at our emails. Let's see what have we got for the next episode. I hope you can help. My computer stopped working the other day and now it will not turn on at all. Please, can you have a look for me? I think it might be the motherboard. Oh, ah, there we go. So something a little bit more interesting. If it needs a new one, I know it needs a Skylake socket. Okay, we can talk about that in the next episode. Not like I have a clue what it means. Uh, another job. Hi there, I brought a PC from you six months ago from Tim. Well, that wasn't me, clearly. And it's been overheating whenever I try and do anything on it. I took I took a look under the CPU cooler and there is no thermal paste. What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? I demand that you fix this for free and this time test the PC before you send it back out. Now, Dr. Waterman, if you done all that you know how to do it so why don't you just do it yourself for the whole two or three pounds of thermal paste or sorry dollars of thermal paste but anyways look we have to do that so we'll accept that job too i recently upgraded my pc but now it's not working properly the computer boots okay when i try to benchmark it or run a game the computer crashes i haven't replaced my psu could the new parts be drawing too much power again this is another new job um so yeah so it does look like uh it does look like we're going to do something different, something to do with the power. So we need a Power King 600. So what we do just for the end of this episode quickly, we'll just order the bits in so you can have a little look. Let's have a look at the power supplies. And I completely forgot already. Let's come with that. So Power King 600. Where are we? There it is. $80, quite cheap. There we go. Add that to the cart. Uh, well, we have thermal paste always. And this one needs a new motherboard. It needs a Sky Lake socket. Uh, motherboards. Socket type Sky Lake, Sky Lake, Sky Lake. So they can all do that. So, which doesn't really help, does it? Does it give us any other information? Or what it actually wants? No. Just needs a Sky Lake socket. So you know what? I think we just go cheap and cheerful here. Oh. How much are they paying us? Budget 100. Okay, look, we're going cheap. Add to cart. There you go, $310. We'll get next day delivery. We'll buy now. Okay, so I think that's it for the episode. Uh, I'll finish this, this silly little job off, off screen and get ready for the next day. I believe there's nothing else out there for the moment. Let's have a look at the calendar. Oh. Yep, so there we go. Got plenty of work for tomorrow before we start paying our bills. If you have enjoyed this content, if you are enjoying uh, PC Simulator and you'd like to see some more, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. Other than that, for myself today, my name is Inside the A Gamer. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.